Kevin. Thank you for doing this. Um, let's let's start uh, right away. What's your best memories of your uh, um, time in the queue? I'd say my first year in playoffs um, against Gano. I wasn't playing, but uh, we were we're up uh, three nothing in, in the series, and uh, we got we we got caught up in in three games, and we lost those, those three, and we came back in Cape. Uh, for game seven and we won in overtime so I guess just the, the thrill and all the emotions of of that series was, was uh, like marked uh, marked my uh, my career teams uh, in the QMJHL are uh, really involved in the community um, what are your um, best memories of your time when you were involved in the community and do you have like any specific event that you remember every year I think I, I, me and some other guys on the team would uh, pair up and buy um, tickets uh, for every home game so sick kids can come and watch with their family and uh, after they would come downstairs and uh, we would talk to them uh, to, to them and take a picture and, and talk for a few minutes a few minutes and um, but just to see how we could put a, a smile on kids faces uh, even though uh, they were going through uh, let's say chemo or, or uh, treatments or all, all that stuff with because their health issues was uh, gratifying for, for me. So um, those those are memories that are going to stick uh, to me for, for a while and probably for the rest of my life, yeah. If you make your way to the NHL, is that something that you would want to do again? Of course, that's something um, I'd love to, to do and continue because um, it's, it's, we're lucky to be in the situation we are. I think just always thinking about that is is a good good way to to show our gratitude to, to be able to, to play the sport. All right, thank you for doing this. Uh, we're very proud of you, and we're looking forward to uh, uh, keep an eye on your career. Thank you for having me.